Hey guys, it's Kimberly with The Happiness Journey and today is day five of our eight tips to thinking positive. So today's tip is to identify your areas of negativity. So you wanna take a look at your life and figure out what areas in your life make you feel the most negative. So they make you feel bad or are things that you're not happy about in your life. And if you're unsure of what these areas are, I suggest asking your spouse or a friend because they'll be able to tell you when, just by having conversations with you um, over time, they'll be able to tell you exactly what areas you talk about the most negatively. So that might be your body, that might be your job, that might be your finances, um, any of those things. So we want to identify what makes us feel negative and then find ways that we can find something, pull something positive out of those things. So for example, if you talk negatively or feel negatively about your body, like say you, you're just, you're not, your body is not in the shape that you would like it to be in. I suggest finding things that you're grateful for. So be grateful to have the body that you live in. Be grateful to do all the things that you get to do. So if you have your feet, you can walk and, and you can talk and you can eat and you can, you know, function properly. Like these are all things that you should be super grateful for. So yes, there may be things that you want to improve on, but be grateful for the things about your body and all the things that it gets to do for you that, that's, that is able to do. I mean, that's such a privilege. Not everybody is able to do those things. There are people who are in a wheelchair for their entire life. And if you're not in that situation, be super grateful for the body that you have. Um, if you are not happy with your finances, be grateful. This is one thing that I've definitely struggled with. I'll admit with that. So this is one thing that, I've started to adjust over the last few months and more so even just in the past month of this year to be grateful for the things that I do have. So I'm super grateful for the roof over our heads. I'm grateful for the community that we live in, like all these little things and all the things that are in my house. Like I'm grateful that there's food in the fridge. I'm grateful for the things that we've been able to purchase and the trips we've taken over the years. So we, we went to Hawaii four years ago now, which is crazy, but I'm super grateful for that trip. That was our first family vacation as a family of four. And then um, Kevin and I have gone to Vegas so many times that we've basically lost count. So, and that's a, that's a big thing for us. That's our getaway. So be grateful for the things that you've been able to purchase or those experiences that you've had with money and make sure you're super, you are grateful for money. Um, and then another thing would be like, if you're just not happy with your job, find something or somebody at your job that you are grateful for. So this, this does go back to focusing on gratitude, but when we identify the things that make us feel negative, when we talk about them or think about them, and then we're able to find something that we're grateful for in that kind of department, um, it makes a big difference. Just, just being able to switch those thoughts and those feelings from negative to positive will make a big difference in your life. So find something that you're grateful in once you've just discovered um, exactly what areas make you feel negative, and then try and find a thought about that, something that you're grateful for. So every time you go and you think about that thing, every time that you think about your body or you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I'm just not where I wanna be, Think about that one thing that you are grateful for. Think about how grateful you are to actually have that body, be able to walk and talk and do all the things that you get to do. And that's going to start to, that mindset shift, mindset shift, sorry, start to shift your mindset from negative to positive when you look in the mirror and when you think about your finances and whatever else it may be. So that's today's tip is to identify your negativity and push that into a positive thought instead. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.